Hi, my name is Susan Murabana. I'm a science outreach professional. I live in Kenya and I work with the Travel Telescope. The 9th of November 1989, I was in primary school for sure. I think I was probably fixing one of the doors in the house. Uh, I have four brothers and uh, my dad was always amazed at how much I enjoyed doing things that he thought were more boy stuff, like fixing doors. And I was, I was probably playing or I was more of a tomboy. <laughs> I wanted to be a lawyer at some point in my life and um, I think I changed a lot in my career. Um, so no, I didn't want to do what I did, but I got exposed to it later. Uh, the world I think we're breaking through this project is access to science, especially the sky, uh, getting more women into science and, and into science careers getting more Africans excited about science, getting more kids about, excited about science, and um, getting more people to look through the telescope. The challenge that we're facing is access to science, especially practical science, and how we're addressing it is giving uh, people a chance to look through the telescope practically and see what's up in the sky, and, and enter a planetarium for the first time and be in an immersive world, and, um, and involve them with a robotics program so that they can, you know, become engineers, uh, explore what the world of space is, and, and that will get them into STEM careers, the science careers, so increase the number of scientists in the country. The Traveling Telescope is a project that's dedicated to promoting astronomy through the telescope and planetarium and other different tools. Where I am in Kenya, most of the skies are clear and yet we don't quite understand or have a connection to the sky. And by looking through the telescope, we can connect people with the sky and at the same time promote science literacy. Uh, the, the, what surprised me the most was the, the way people just want to look through a telescope. I mean, when you stick our telescope somewhere, all ages, young, old kids, all from different backgrounds and different languages come around and want to look through, and that connects us because all these conversations are brought up. Another thing that surprised me was very exacting with the planetarium. Everyone wants to go in the planetarium, from politicians to young school kids to doctors. Like, it's just so amazing to see their interest. Our project is unique because we physically um, uh, take the telescope around the country and uh, obviously visit in different areas and seeing different the sky as it changes, but also giving people a chance to either enter the planetarium or look through the telescope or both. But most importantly, it's the overall picture of us looking at our planet as our home and perhaps looking up at a, a planet, we uh, get a connection or appreciation of our own host planet. So we feel that what we do will have a lasting impact in the minds and the decisions and the science literacy for our future leaders, and that could develop us as a country. Uh, most of the problems we, we face today, including climate change, including the pandemic, this, the solutions to these problems are only going to come from science. My mother... She didn't understand this whole craze about astronomy when I got into it. Um, and perhaps because as a teacher, she's now retired, she had read so much about you know, astronomers and observatories and the research they do out there. And I think it felt so far-fetched that it was out there. But what I'm trying to do, and now she's appreciated, is, is, is demystify astronomy, say it's accessible to anyone it's our <laughs> stars and our universe and our planet. And now she's so appreciative and so um, 
involved with what I do. And it's just so nice to see that change from her. The questions that remain unanswered are, for me, so many, like, are we alone? How big is the universe? Are there more universes? What, do, what will we find out there? Where do we come from? But coming back on Earth is, um, what, what can we do like, to protect our Earth? Uh, how can we change this? Um, what, response, what are we able to do to, to make it a better place for our uh, generations to come? Just when I see the joy from kids looking through the telescope and I go to bed, and I imagine and I'm like, what else can I give them? Where else can I take them?